Man, I just want to be the first to tell you guys that. Look, this YouTube life doesn't go unchecked. This is not an easy life to live, okay? I'm just letting you know right now. Look at that. Ooh, look at that boy. Look at that boy. Give me one second. Damn, look at that boy. <laughs> What's up guys, how you doing? Um, just working on some videos. We're gonna be releasing some new stuff here shortly. I just wanna say also thank you for the 294 subscribers. I was literally just at like 280 yesterday. So to be here now, love it. 33 views on my latest video 16 hours ago. You know what I mean? Like this is beautiful, it's amazing. And by God's graces, like I'm allowed to be alive right now and to be talking to you guys and to telling you guys everything that I have been telling you the last few days. Well, what else could I ask for? What more else could I ask for besides a freaking Lambo and like 20 bands? Nothing else, dude. Hey, I appreciate it, guys. I'll be seeing y'all soon. So I wanted to make a video and I was going to get all uptight and like oh, ready, ready, ready for it. And I wanted to sit it in the perfect zone and I wanted to put on this like tie and be all formal about it. But why the heck would I do that whenever it's still going to be me? Just still doing the video regardless. It's like, for whatever reason, it's still gonna be me. I'm still gonna be the one recording it. I'll just say this. When you realize that you're the one doing all of these things, you don't have to be, why do I have to explain it? Anyways, this video is about cursing. As if cursing was bad for you. Cursing, actually I came to find out that it's not a bad thing. Research was done that they put these participants in the study where they had them ride this bicycle while cursing out their favorite F-words, F-bombs, every curse word they could imagine, their favorite, you name it. They probably said Um, you name it. And then they compared it to another experimental group in the study, which I would consider the control group. So the other one was the experimental group, and then this other one was the control group. And what the control group did was basically, they just stuck to neutral words like wood, and I can't think of another one, calm, whatever. We'll say calm, but neutral words, just like wood. Wood doesn't have a connotation behind it, right? So. At least not at least not to most people unless you have a phobia of it. But basically the point was that they when they compare the results of these people, the ones that cursed more placed higher inertia, like their heart rate went up more. They were they gripped the, the handles much more, like and they had more strength and they went longer than the people that were just like saying calm words or nothing or were just working out. So that was the study. And they also did a, did a study on this workplace and how cursing affected the workplace and the employees in the workplace. And they found out this, they hired this like IO psychologist or this kind of person basically to study that behavior in these employees. And what they came to find out was that cursing specifically using the F word between these employees, just naturally, right? Um, this is really cool. I think that would be considered testing the external validity of an experiment because you're doing it out in the field. That's kind of just a lesson for you guys in psychology. That's what that means. But anyways, I think that's exactly what it means. But that's a term now that you know so that you can look it up. And So throughout the weeks they were studying these employees, what I came to find out that was really interesting was the fact that they found out that by using the F word, it created unity between the employees. It also promoted like workplace engagement. And I think the whole livelihood of the industry benefited. It, it jumped their numbers up, like their product satisfaction. It really affected all these things. It was really weird based on curse words. So uh, you asking, is cursing a bad thing? Is using curse words bad? Well, I don't know. It may, or it could not. You could listen to the study. Eh, I mean, hell, who knows? Shit, maybe a couple curse words wouldn't be bad for you. Might even help you. 
See you guys. Riding and I'm chilling like a villain in a whip, it got no ceiling. I just gotta take it off. Try me, act the slimy, acting grimy. Have them saying, please don't find me when it's time to pay the bus. Bottle off the bottle, got a model off Moscato at my side hoe. I just had to break it off.